Halo Infinite comes out in no less than 9 months, and it'll be even less time before we get our first proper look of what it plays like. The seeds are growing, finish the fight, take 4, and the nerd inside me will be released, or rather, unleashed, depending on how you look at it. A new Halo game for me feels like such a reward for sticking at it for another few years on God's green and blue ball. And with Infinite now being built up for two years, I would hope that we got a proper taste of it after just being teased for a couple of years like little sluts. But this is the Halo community, and anyone who's ever dipped their toe into them were a bit of a anomaly. So many different expectations, viewpoints, and outlooks on how and what Halo should be. Now, to make this video interesting, I am going to give my opinion. And just like if you were to enter high charity, you could expect quite an uproar, and the infection that goes by the name of salt will spread rapidly. In the two years, we've had two trailers, providing very few details on what we can expect from this new title. But one thing us Halo players do more than most is speculation, and some very reliable information has been brought to light. The game is to be set around a year and a half after the events of Halo 5, and some cryptic messages in the trailers like the Morse code radio and the ancient writing have been translated to familiar references that give broader context to what we can expect. Now, my next line was referring to seeing this game at E3, but uh, that hasn't aged well at all. So, what do I wish for? To be perfectly honest, I have no idea. I'll get more into that in a second, but if you were to put a gun at my head, for more specifics, I would say... How's your sister? I would want to see the mission design from Combat Evolve to come back. As you can see, I've been playing through the game recently, and I think it just has, out of all the Halos, the best collection of missions. One of the highlights obviously being, because of the more open environments, there was these big exploitable speedrun tricks you could easily pull off. I really don't like this mission particularly, but if you take this route, you will despawn all enemies and get the mission done within 5 minutes. It's just not very easy. Now people say 343 were the ones to abandon this type of mission design since Halo 4, and while they have been the ones that have severely limited the scope more than ever, I kind of feel like it has been a gradual fade since Halo 2. I mean there are some exceptions, don't get me wrong, like the vehicle sections, the scarab fights and the air battles. The rookie missions from ODST was probably the closest we've had since, and the presentation from the Infinite Reveal trailer was a lot more akin to an open world game than a shooter. Just showing off different landscapes, wildlife, there's no dialogue whatsoever. I could easily be misconceived because it states that this is a demonstration of the new engine, so what do I know? But then again, what do you know, prick? So that is it, if I'm perfectly honest, and in the meantime, while we wait for some gameplay, the more open mission design is the only thing off the top of my head that sounds like a welcome change-up to the ever-changing Halo formula. And that's when I want to get back to our expectations. Halo has touched upon so many different assets to experiment with in their newest releases, that at this point, I'm just kind of hoping for a solid FPS game, rather than an authentic, honest Halo experience. Halo in the present day is almost unrecognisable to what it was when it first burst out on the scene in 2001. You compare them side by side, and I'm sure the initial reaction would be like, You're not my dad! Upon closer inspection, though, Looking at the timeline of games released, it shows an interesting pattern. One controversial addition to Halo 3's multiplayer was equipment. As well as power weapons, players would also fight over control of these armor abilities, like a bubble shield, a gravity lift, trip mines, etc. Some people didn't like it. To them, equipment was a cheesy getaway that let players get out of trouble after they'd been outplayed. Then Halo Reach comes along and keeps these armor abilities, with some new and old. But wait! This time we're going to integrate them as a built-in mechanic for every player to use from spawn of their choice. Halo 4? Again, I think we're going to hold on to these mechanics. But wait! Now Sprint is going to be a built-in mechanic which will also increase the speed and the flow of the games. Then Halo 5? Yeah, I think we're going to hold on. Yeah, we'll just do that. But, but wait! There's more! Hang on to your seat, baby! Cause this one's a screamer! Instead of 
picking a certain ability, now you're just going to have seven of them built into your Spartan suit so everyone is on equal grounds from the beginning. So while the comparison is dumbfounding, from every game from three onwards there's been gradual baby steps made in each game, making it less obvious that Halo has been stepping into unknown territory. You imagine if the next Halo game that came after three played like Halo 5, I think the backlash would have been much more instant, but baby steps, just little, little tiny ones. So perhaps now we've just hit this wall where there's just no new ideas that could fit the next title. So, you know, let's just go back to what it once was. That sounds great. But then again, we Halo players, we like to pick fights, even unwisely ones. So do we still want something new and different that doesn't make it a complete reskin of one of the originals? Or is it time to just prove that certain games are at their best when they're just being themselves? So that's me done talking. Now, remember what I said about trying a few new things? Well, here you go. I'll see you guys soon. You'll need some headphones for this next bit. You take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Bye. Before this is all over, promise me you'll figure out which one of us is the machine. I hurt myself today to see if I still feel I focus on the pain The only thing that's real Did the you not hear? Your fall. world is doomed The old familiar sting Try to kill it all, all would appreciate the benefit of living to fight another day. Everything. What have I become? My sweetest friend. Everyone I know goes away in the to you, soldier. I'm not willing to jeopardize my ship because of the hallucinations of an aging Spartan and his malfunctioning AI. I wear this crown of thorns upon my liar's chair Full of broken thoughts I cannot repair my job to take care of you. Of time, the we are supposed to take care of each other. You are someone else. I am still right here. What have I become? My sweetest friend. Our duty, as soldiers, is to protect humanity, whatever the cost. I say that soldiers and humanity are two different things. Start again A million miles away I would keep myself